Well, the big time winter is finally here. There's snow on the ground. Unlike the normal snow in DFW, this is actually very powdery. There's no ice in here. It's all just uh, very thin, uh, very thin basic snow. Obviously there's no, uh, <laughs> no landscaping work being done this week. No lawn service for quite a while. Luckily the leaves are done though, so I've got a few weeks to kind of regroup and plan my next move. Wanted to talk real quick though about something that's a super game changer as far as keeping your home warm. And that's this, this boy right here. This is a kerosene space heater. Come here. I'll pick it up and move it. I gotta fill it up. I've been using it uh, in my house the last couple of years. Oh, come here. Where are you doing? All right, we'll probably fill it up right there. The, the cover must have come loose. But anyway, this, uh, this, heater, this heater is great. It's uh, one of the best things you can do to heat your home, especially if you have an emergency situation and you don't have any heat in your house. We have gas heat here, and we have a really good heater. But as a supplementary system, this... This product here is incredible. I, uh, I first purchased this uh, kerosene heater back in 2013, actually. And uh, it, uh, that was back when we lived at the old house. And it set, it set unused in a box for uh, seven years until we moved in here. We bought this house. And uh, to be honest, I almost did not take it with me. I was very close to saying, ah, I don't need this really. What am I, what am I taking this heater for? You know, I, I was, I was just about ready to just uh, leave it behind, you know, as it were. But uh, well, <laughs> the winter storm of 2021 that hit in February of that year was brutal. Just the most brutal temperatures that we've seen in my lifetime around here. And uh, that that we ran that kerosene heater for several days. And it heated our whole house. Uh, we never lost power, but we still had an, at the time we had an old furnace. It was about 20 years old. So we were, you know, we, it wasn't working very well. But this kerosene heater, even now running it, when this, when this thing is running, your, uh, your fur, our furnace is off. The furnace doesn't even come on. And even if it's, you know, insanely cold, it's about 12 degrees out here right now outside. And this, uh, let me tell you, this fur this uh, kerosene heater, when it's um, when it's on and running, that furnace shuts off and it stays off. A full tank of gas on this will run for about for about eight hours. Let me see. I'm gonna try and uh, demonstrate something here. I don't have my tripod on me. Now, I'm not sure how well this is going to be because there's not much light in here right now. I've got to uh, get this handle back in the right position. There we go. Yeah, that, that's good. All right. So, anyway, got it back. Got the handle back in the right position. I'm going to go over here and fill it up. It's not terribly heavy empty. Once you fill it up with kerosene, it gets a little bit heavy. But luckily, I don't have very far to go with it. So when I bought this, it actually came with this little siphon pump here. So I've been using that ever since. I'm actually going to open the garage door here so I get some... So I get some better, um, get some better light. But I'm gonna kind of, kind of demonstrate here how you fill this up. It's really easy. You just got to be careful not to, uh, not to overfill it. So let's see. I'm gonna grab my other thing here. Where did I put it? Oh, there it is. Outside view of all the, all the snow. 
I got Big Red winterized and holed up in here. Got battery charge maintainers. I got one on the grandstand, one on the Chevy, and uh, one on the Vantage over here as well. I uh, I could use one on the Ram, but since I drive it more, even in the winter time, it's my you know it's the truck that I'm going to drive if I need to go somewhere or do an emergency trip or something like that. It's uh, it's the one I'm going to keep with me. So it's got a little fuel gauge over here that tells you tells you how low it is. This is really easy to do. The only thing with this, you got to be really careful to not overfill these heaters. Ah, crap. Ah, shit, get in there. That and the uh, pump, the little, uh, the little hose here is kind of cold, so it's moving in weird ways. Gotta wipe this off before I go back inside. Mm. Yep, that kerosene smells real strong. Can't have that in the house. Come here. So apparently my phone cut off there in the middle of me cleaning up that spill. So here's part two. Don't do what I did and spill kerosene everywhere. <laughs> I screwed up a little bit and my hands are cold and this uh, nozzle here is kind of, you know, kind of cold. So it moved in an unpredictable way. I wasn't expecting that to happen. But I got it pretty much filled up here. You take this little, what you do is this has a long tube that goes into here. And this is a hand pump and you pump it a few times while the hose is, the other end of the hose is in here. And it acts like a siphon. Using the siphon effect, it starts to fill, it starts to fill it up. Um, and then you just watch it and monitor it. Right now it's almost full. I've got to get, uh, I'm going to get a little funnel here. And I have another little container, I think, that has a little bit more little bit more in it I'm gonna use that to uh, use that to um, finish it off here but yeah with uh, with a full tank on this with a full tank on this kerosene heater you can it'll run about eight hours um, pretty good you know pretty good amount of heat it puts out uh, 24,000 BTUs which um, I have a 13 about a 14, 13, 1400 square foot house. And this, uh, this heater, put it in the main room in front there. It will heat the entire, it will heat the entire house. And, uh, that's just, just, just incredible. It's an awesome, awesome investment, especially for, uh, emergencies, emergency heat conditions where you need heat. And if you have no, no power, if your gas is off or your electricity is off or something like that, this, this, uh, heating setup is great. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see. I need to put the camera somewhere where I finish, where I finish uh, filling this up. Let's see if my tripod's somewhere. I don't know exactly where it is. It must be in here. Nope, I don't know. Around here somewhere. I cleaned the truck out a little bit the other day, but it's still kind of, still kind of messy. Uh, messy from the season. Cleaned the bed out and everything really good the other day, but still working on the uh, interior. So I guess we'll just put it up against this. So, yep. Ooh. Get this uh, get this thing filled up. Get it wrapped up, fill in here, and then I'm going to um, go back inside, get it set up, get it turned on. You have to uh, soak it. You have to leave it full for about an hour to let the wick to let the wick fill up with uh, with kerosene. That's one thing. Once you fill it up, you can't immediately start it. You got to let it soak for about an hour. That wick in there, and when you're done using it for the year, you have to uh, run it empty, run it all the way till it cuts off, and then you got to run it again to try to just get all the excess kerosene out of there. And then once it cools down you know, everything you have to use a scrub brush like a, i use a little toothbrush you have to open up the inside here and and scrub all the carbon and all the deposits off of the wick if you don't do that then uh, the wick will have a bunch of deposits and nasty stuff on there and uh, the next time you need it it won't be ready it'll be smoking everywhere or it won't even it won't even light up so i'm gonna go ahead and just uh end this real quick once i uh 
once I once I talk a little bit more, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and then uh, take this on inside and get it going. But so anyway, yeah, that's a uh, video about heating, important emergency heaters whenever you have a condition like this, snow, you know, sub freezing degrees. It's in the teens here right now. It's probably not gonna break 20 today in all honesty. And that's a cold, it's a cold day for DFW. So this is something I highly recommend. If you need one of these, they sell, they retail for about $160 at Home Depot. That was the last time I, last time I uh, looked at the price, they were about 160. Um, this jug of kerosene, two and a half gallon is about $30 at Home Depot. And uh, so it's not terribly expensive you know, it's not a terribly expensive option at all to heat your house if uh, in an emergency, or if you just want supplementary heating. So anyway, hope that uh, hope you that uh, hope that video uh, was helpful for anybody out there, and uh, take it easy and stay warm.